You've probably heard of ChatGPT, and you might even be using ChatGPT already, or maybe you're still on the fence just kind of watching from the sidelines. But here's the real question. Is ChatGPT actually the best AI platform out there? Or is ChatGPT just the one that gets talked about the most? The truth is, there are now numerous AI platforms available, and depending on what you're trying to do, one of the other platforms might actually be a better fit. So in this video, I'm going to break down the five major ChatGPT alternatives that are worth knowing about right now. I'll walk you through what each one does best, how it compares to ChatGPT, and how to figure out which one might be the right fit for you. So let's start with ChatGPT, since that's the tool most people have either heard about or at least dabbled with. I've personally been a paid subscriber since early 2023. Not because it's trendy, but because I find it super useful and a tremendous time saver. Now, yes, you can use ChatGPT to plan a trip or write a thank you note, but let's talk about some real world business examples that might hit closer to home. You've got a rough idea for a contract, a proposal, or a blog post, but you're staring at a blank computer screen. ChatGPT helps you organize your thoughts and turn it into a solid first draft. Or you're trying to explain your pricing or your process, but it keeps sounding clunky or confusing. ChatGPT rewrites it so it sounds clear, confident, and easy to understand. You paste in a 10-page legal document or a long vendor agreement and say, can you explain this in plain English? And it does, in seconds. You describe the kind of high-quality image you're looking for. ChatGPT generates a custom image you can actually use in a proposal, a blog post, or a presentation. No need to scroll through hundreds of stock photos or wait on your graphic designer. You've got something usable in a minute or two. Or you upload a spreadsheet and ask, what's changed month to month? Or anything I should be paying attention to? ChatGPT analyzes the data and gives you a clear summary, again, in seconds. Now, just so you know, there are two versions of ChatGPT. The free version runs on what's called ChatGPT 3.5. It's quick, easy to use, and it's more than enough to get started. The paid version, which is what I use, costs $20 a month, and it gives you access to GPT-4. With the paid version, you can upload PDFs like contracts, transcripts, or reports, and have ChatGPT pull out the key points or action items for you. You can also create or use custom GPTs, which are specialized versions of ChatGPT tailored for specific tasks or tuned to your voice and style. You can also search the web in real time for things like competitor research or summarizing breaking news in your industry. And now that you've got a clear picture of what ChatGPT can actually do, let's now take a look at how the other major platforms compare. First up is Google Gemini. It's Google's AI assistant that's quietly becoming smarter and more useful with every update. If you already use Gmail or Google Docs or Google Drive or Google Calendar or an Android phone, Gemini may feel more like a natural part of your day than ChatGPT does. What makes it stand out is that it's built right into your Google tools. You can ask it to draft an email or summarize a Google Doc or pull details from your Google Calendar all without switching apps. Now, compared to ChatGPT, ChatGPT tends to be more polished and conversational, but Gemini is more connected to your Google stuff, and that can make it feel more relevant and immediate in your workflow. As with ChatGPT, Gemini comes in two versions. There's a free version built right into the Google tools that's plenty for everyday use. And then there's Gemini Advanced, which costs about $20 a month and unlocks their more powerful model called Gemini 2.5 Pro. With Gemini Advanced, you get things like deep research for complex questions, AI-powered help inside Google Sheets, a voice chat mode called Gemini Live, and the ability to work on really long documents, even huge files with thousands of words or lines of code. Now, if you're already using Gmail, Google Docs, and Calendar every day, Gemini might feel like a plug-and-play assistance that's built just for you. Now, quick word of caution. Gemini still feels early stage in some areas. Some users report bugs, rate limits, and responses that sound a little stiff compared to ChatGPT. So there's room to grow. But if you're deep into the Google ecosystem, Gemini is definitely worth exploring. Now let's talk about Microsoft Copilot, which in some ways is like Gemini's cousin. If you use Microsoft Office, things like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or Outlook, Copilot is Microsoft's version of an AI assistant that's designed to help you directly inside those tools. So what does that look like in practice? Well, you can ask Copilot to summarize a long email thread in Outlook. You can ask it to turn bullet points into a polished Word document or analyze a messy spreadsheet in Excel and highlight trends or clean up formatting, all without writing a single formula. Now, compared to ChatGPT, 
Copilot is great for document-heavy, task-driven work, especially in Excel or Word. But for brainstorming or creative tasks, ChatGPT is probably the better option. Regarding pricing, for individuals, there's Copilot Pro that's $20 per month. And for business users, Microsoft 365 Copilot is $30 per user per month as an add-on. So the bottom line, if you are a heavy Microsoft Office user, Copilot can make those tools even more powerful. But if you're not working in Word, Excel, or Outlook regularly, Copilot probably won't be a great fit. Copilot is not as versatile as ChatGPT, but inside Microsoft's ecosystem, it can be a real productivity booster and time saver. Next up is perplexity, and this one's starting to get a lot more attention lately. If ChatGPT is great at writing and creating content from scratch, perplexity is more like a smart research assistant. You type in a question, just like you would with Google, and it gives you an answer, but it also cites its sources so you can see where the information came from. In fact, the whole experience kind of feels like Google and ChatGPT had a baby. Where ChatGPT often works best with thoughtful, detailed prompts, Perplexity is more about quick answers, research, and just give it to me straight style responses. It's especially useful when you want a clear answer and don't want to sift through tons of search results and paid ads. As with ChatGPT, there's a free version that works great for everyday use, but for about $20 a month, the pro version gives you some powerful extras. For example, you can choose advanced AI models like GPT-4 and Claude for even smarter answers. You can upload things like PDFs, spreadsheets, or screenshots and get them explained or summarized in plain English. And you unlock more searches per day, you get faster response times, and access to experimental tools that aren't available in the free version. If you do a lot of research, fact-checking, or need quick, trustworthy answers, Perplexity might be your new go-to research assistant. Next up is Meta AI. This is the AI assistant built by the folks at Facebook, or Meta if we're using the official name. And even though it does not get as much hype as ChatGPT or Gemini, Meta AI is quietly showing up in a lot of places like Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. The idea here is convenience. You can ask Meta AI a question or get help with something right from inside the apps you're already using. For example, you can type in what's a good side dish for salmon right inside Facebook and Meta AI will respond with a handful of recipe ideas. Or you can ask it to summarize a long comment thread. It can help you write a message or give you a quick definition without switching apps. Now, right now, it's totally free to use and surprisingly fast. And you don't even need to create a new account or download a separate app. If you're mostly looking for quick help inside Meta-owned apps, Meta AI is surprisingly helpful and convenient, like a sidekick that's always nearby when you need a fast answer or a little creative boost. It's not designed to replace something like ChatGPT or Gemini, but for everyday tasks, casual questions, or getting things done without switching apps, it actually holds its own. Then last but definitely not least, Claude by Anthropic. This is probably the closest head-to-head -head competitor with ChatGPT. Right now, Claude and ChatGPT are the two heavyweights when it comes to writing capability. In fact, I've personally used both, and for writing specifically, I might give Claude a slight edge over ChatGPT. There's a free version of Claude available at Claude.ai, but the pro version, around $20 per month, gives you access to their most advanced model, Claude Opus 4. You get faster performance, higher message limits for longer conversations, and access to premium tools like file uploads and chart analysis. If your day involves all kinds of tasks like brainstorming, image generation, research and analysis, ChatGPT is still probably the better all-around tool. But if writing is a big part of your workflow, Claude might just become your new favorite. So with all these options, how do you pick the right AI platform for you? Well, are you already using Google, Microsoft, or Meta Tools every day? If so, consider using the AI that's already built into those respective platforms like Gemini, Copilot, or Meta AI. Do you mostly need help thinking through ideas like brainstorming, writing, or planning? Or are you mainly looking to search for quick answers and facts? If it's the former, ChatGPT or Claude might be a great fit. If it's the latter, perplexity really shines. If you're still not sure where to begin and you just want a simple, powerful place to start, go with ChatGPT. It's user-friendly and it's well-documented. And I can personally vouch for ChatGPT because I've been a paid subscriber pretty much since it came out. And then once you get comfortable with ChatGPT, branch out and test drive a few others. You do not need to master every AI platform to start seeing results. Just try one. Don't feel bad if it seems like you're the only person on earth not using AI yet. The truth is, many people still are not using it, at least not in a meaningful way. And the good news, 
it's easier to get started than you might realize. If you want a simple, real-world walkthrough of how to actually start using ChatGPT, I've got a short video that shows you exactly how to do that. It's called How to Use ChatGPT, a simple guide for non-techies. You can watch that video right here.